So first, I open up the program and it asks for the number of chords in your progression. So I'm going to put three. Then the root of each chord. So I'll do E major flat seven, A major flat seven, B major flat seven. Then the program will output those chords, the first chord in the progression in me. So here's that. You can change the octave of the chord. And then you use the left and right foot switch to trigger the previous or next chord in the progression. In addition, it has a tap tempo feature, which is the middle switch. So this program allows you to put in whatever chords you want and then play over them. In addition, it has a manual mode. So when you flip this switch, Instead of playing continuously, it only plays when you touch it. <laughs> Lastly, uh, the, it has a pitch detection as well as a processing program that runs in tandem. Open that up. The processing program will when you're on a chord, it will tell you all the places that you can find the notes in that chord. Uh, and then these lights right here, the lights alert you if you've played a note in the chord or if you played a wrong note. So if I play, let's see, if I play this D, it should light up blue because it's a correct note. Oh, sorry, C sharp. There we go. But if I play an E flat, it's not in the chord. The lights up red. And that's pretty much it. It's designed to be a tool to teach guitar players how to improvise over chords. Uh, it gives them direct feedback, and uh, it's pretty simple. So, yep, that's it.